Hi, it's Kayleen Kerr from Ease Safe Kids. Conversations about body autonomy, body boundaries, consent and respect can and should begin in the early years. And today I'd love to share with you a book that may support you. This book is ABC of Body Safety and Consent. It's written by Janine Sanders. What I love about this book is not only does it talk about body autonomy, body boundaries, consent and respect, it also encompasses many other protective behaviours topic areas as well. I've have the permission of Janine to share this book with you. I won't read the whole book. I'll just share um, a few pages with you. A is for always. Tell a trusted adult if you feel worried, scared or unsafe. B is for body boundary. This is the invisible space around your body that is just for you. No one can come inside your body boundary without your permission. C is for consent. D is for don't. Don't be afraid to tell a trusted adult if you feel unsafe or someone has asked you to keep an unsafe secret. Remember, trusted adults are there to help you. E is for early warning signs. E is also for equality. F is for feelings. G is for go. H is for high fives or handshakes. If you don't want to hug or kiss someone when saying hello, you can choose to give them a high five, a handshake or blow them a kiss. Even if they are an adult that you know, you are the boss of your body and the choice is yours. I is for never ignore your early warning signs. If you feel any of them at any time, tell a trusted adult. J is for jokes that are not funny about other people, especially about their private parts. If anyone tells you a joke about private parts or shows you pictures of private parts, tell a trusted adult. K, K is for kindness, shown to people, especially if they are scared, hurt or feeling sad. It is good to be kind to other people. It is always good to be kind to yourself. L is for listen. M is for my safety network. N is for no. O is for open conversation. P is for private parts. P is also for private and public places. Q is for quickly. R is for respect. We need to respect other people's body boundaries, just as you may not like people coming inside your body boundary. You have to respect other people's wishes too. That means if you want to hug or kiss someone and they say no, then you have to respect their no. S is for secrets. S is also for surprises. T is for tell. Tell a trusted adult on your safety network if you ever feel unsafe or you have early warning signs. A, uh, U is for unsafe feelings. V is for very brave. W is for warning word. Every family needs a family warning word. This is a word that only family members know. For example, if you are away from home and you ring up and say carrots because that is your family warning word, your family member knows to come and get you straight away because you are feeling unsafe. X is for blowing kisses. To greet people you know well because you may not feel like giving them a hug or a kiss. Y is for yes. If you want to give a friend or a family member a kiss or a hug, you can say yes when they ask you. This means you have happily given your consent. Z is for Zoom, away quickly from anyone or anything that makes you feel unsafe and tell a trusted adult on your safety network. And always remember, you are the boss of your body and what you say goes. And at the rear of the book, there is some further information, discussion questions and conversation starters for parents. I hope that you found this book reading helpful and if you have, please do feel free to share with any friends, family or colleagues that you think may benefit.